Hello and welcome to this pre-Christmas edition of our AGS Success video blog and this one is especially for our Year 11 students and their parents. Now this afternoon as an SLT we've been down in the, uh, in the hall and all of our Year 11s have been picking up their mock exam or what we call our entry exam results uh, and they've been getting their all important brand envelopes find out exactly how they've done in their exams. And there's been quite a few students who have been coming out not as happy as they maybe would in the summer so we want to look at what students might be able to do uh, over the Christmas period and over, over the holiday because they all had a special assembly last week uh, from Sir John Rowling who talked about a uh, really inspirational message that students can write their own exam results and they can write their own exam sheet and what that means is that all the work that they're putting in between now and then will all pay off. So John can you talk about what they might be able to do if, if somebody wants to do some work over Christmas uh, especially maybe towards the back end of that Christmas when they've had a nice break, they've refreshed themselves and into kind of January time, what can they do to kind of uh, start to build some habits um, to try and really write their own exam results? Yeah, I mean, you've spoken about it there. When you say you might want to do some work towards the end of the holidays, yeah. it's really important that they actually just give themselves a yeah. break. No matter what it is that's written on that paper that they got today, we talked before about the difference between learning and performance. Yeah. What's written on their paper doesn't define what they are going to produce. No. That's what they've produced so far. Yeah. And they've all worked incredibly hard and actually just adapting to the, the different style of year 11 is something that can actually... Uh, build a lot of pressure over mm -hmm. this term. So first of all, they just need to de-stress, relax, enjoy the time with friends and family. But as we all often find in those kind of few days after New Year, probably you have got quite a lot of downtime, yep. and you might start thinking about right. I'm going back to to work. I'm going back to school. Mm -hmm. What can I start doing? And I, I suppose my advice, really, we always talk about little and often. Mm -hmm. A lot of the students have gone through and created lots of flashcards yep. for a lot of their mm -hmm. uh, a lot of their work. Mm -hmm. They also have all of their passwords and things. And they've been given a chance to get the grips with like the online systems that we use. They don't need to do anything grandiose. They just need to start just chipping away at a little yeah. practice. So if you've got your, your selection of flashcards, don't make any more. Just quiz on the ones that you've yeah. got. If you've got yourself signed up to an online platform, don't think that you need to go and uh, reinvent the wheel, really. Just get on there yeah. and just keep ticking away. A lot of our students have kind of quizzing apps like Tassamai for Science. Mm -hmm. If they're just doing kind of 15 minutes a day on mm -hmm. that, or if they want to sit down with those friends and family members yeah. I talked about and just do a little bit of quizzing on their flashcards, just get ticking over, just get back into, as you said, the habit of doing some work after you've had a bit of a relax. Perfect. And we've talked about habits before in quite a few of our videos uh, and actually creating those habits and building those habits on, you know, habit stacking, uh, building them on top of other ones makes it a lot easier to follow through. Um, and I think just picking up what you said there, we've given students lots of strategies, we've given them lots of uh, time, lots of information, resources. It's now about the doing, isn't it? And it's about actually now, they've got to, you know, this isn't going to happen uh, by magic. It's about actually putting that time in and actually doing what we've been, what we've been saying over the last few weeks. Um, parents and I suppose we've kind of given students their tip there in that really so we don't need to cover that again what can parents do then to kind of make that happen and get students to actually do what we've been saying um, yeah you kind of already said it really just be that and we've talked about this plenty of times before just be that that person to give you a nudge mm -hmm. if you kind of spot in again in that kind of downtime between new year and coming back to school if you're kind of noticing people kind of they're a little bit bored of the the, the brand new things they got for christmas and the, the things the excitement starting to yeah. wear down just notice it and say oh actually after we've had breakfast or just before we we have our tea like you said habit mm -hmm. stacking let's sit down together yeah. and let's do something because as we all know the hardest thing to do is to motivate yourself. Yeah. If there's someone else there just saying, ah, oh, let's just take a quick five minutes now mm -hmm. while I've got a bit of time, you've got a little yeah. bit of time. Let's just do some quizzing. What, what do you know about science? Mm -hmm. What are you come back for? What, what's the one result that you really want to make a difference to from what you got in your exam grades today? And then let's start doing a little bit of work on that together because that idea of togetherness is really going to help you move forward. Perfect. So that's our message to you. Take some time, recharge the batteries, spend some nice time with families and friends, uh, and then start to get back on it, start to build those study habits, uh, and we will see you all refreshed, ready to go again in the new year. Happy Christmas.